Hey guys, Colin McIntyre here again, and I'm really excited because yesterday I went to Hot Topic and I got this. It is the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I finally got it, and I had to thank one person. It's my uncle because he bought me for this, so I really thank him for buying me this. And what's cool is that I got, while I got this, I got a Hot Topic gift card, and it never expires. So anyway, let's, before I take the Sonic Screwdriver out of the packaging, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at the packaging first. First, you got the classic Do BBC Doctor Who logo, and it's ages 5 and up. It, this is actually a, uh, re a regular pen and a UV pen. So on the top, the, uh, on the top, you could, th that's the UV pen, this is the normal pen. And on the bottom here, it says BBC, and then you get an image of the 10th Doctor played by David Tennant. And the 10th Doctor, he started at 2005, and ended, and then he ended at 2010. The 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, warning label. And on the back, um, he still got the classic Doctor Who logo, how the Sonic Screwdriver works. And you can see it's going up to the 10th Doctor. And it shows you how to put in the new batteries made by character. And, yep, so this is the packaging. So, let's start opening. So. Here's the regular uh, pen nib, and over here is the UV pen. Now we'll take a look at the screwdriver itself. Okay, so here's the 10th Dr. Sonic screwdriver out of the packaging. Alright, so I've been waiting to get this, and yeah, so let's take a look at it. So you have a blue LED light, and I already opened it, but the time I tested out the blue, the blue LED light, it was supposed to be blue, but it's purple, and I'll get to you that in a minute. Let's take, let's first focus on the design first. Here's the top part. And here's the patterning, which is the famous rock handle. And you get this thing, which is when you extend it, and you get two buttons here. Well, the proper replica in the Doctor Who uh, series was that there was a button on the uh, thumb hole, uh, thing, and these two were not buttons. And on the bottom, you got the I, got I put in the regular pen nib, so if you want to see, it comes off easy. And there's just the pen. Now I'm not going to demonstrate it for you because I don't have a piece of paper around here. And Is that new? Is that Sorry guys, my aunt just broke in because she... Um, anyway, so th that is it for design. Here's the features. So like I said before, that um, the, uh, the, the light was supposed to be blue, but it's actually purple. Here, watch this. See? Anyways, when it's like this, you have to press this button. And when it's fully extended, you have to press this button. As you can hear that the this uh, sonic screwdriver has the same sound effects of the War Doctor sonic screwdriver. Here, listen again. And that's it. Let me demonstrate it for you. Here's my War Doctor Sonic screwdriver. And here, listen to this. Oh, sorry. So that was high. That was even more higher. This is this one. Here's this one. And that's pretty much it. I forgot to tell you guys about the UV uh, pen nib. 
So here it is. It's basically the same design, but this time when you open it up, here it is. It's not basically a pen. It's actually a marker. So anyway, so I'm going to put that back in and yeah. Here's a size comparison to all my sonic screwdrivers. I've been waiting to get the 10th Doctors because I wanted to get the full collection of the Doctor Who episode Day of the Doctor. So here we are. I forgot to mention that when you extend the uh, 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver, it becomes taller than this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review of the 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver pen. And thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. I forgot to tell you guys that next time I'm going to be reviewing my loyal subjects of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been hoping to get Casey Jones, but instead, I got April O'Neil. So anyway, I'll review her next time. So, see ya.